everyone, and welcome to an episode of Our Mother's Art. Since I did that last studio tour, we are in Northeast Ohio now instead of Southern Utah. We've just moved here for a brief time. We'll be here actually for another year. And I was not able to bring any of my looms with me, but I do have one of my spinning wheels with me. So yeah, there's all that. But I am still actually weaving. And that's because I found a wonderful place here in Ohio um, near Cleveland called Praxis Fiber Workshop. And you can go in there for a membership fee and uh, weave on any number of looms that they have. And they have everything under the sun in there, which is very cool. Um, I started out by taking a class. I had taken a weaving class before, but um, I decided, you know, let's just take another one just for fun. And I actually learned front to back warping. And so that was interesting. So we may try that um, when I get back or maybe on some of the projects I'll be doing over the next year. I actually do have a project currently on an eight harness baby wolf in there and I'm going to be weaving on it in a couple of days and so I decided it was time I needed to get some more bobbins and so I ordered a package from the Woolery. It's always lots of fun. Um, I ordered some bobbins and a nifty thing that winds them using an electric screw gun. So I thought maybe we'd open them and see what we have and wind some bobbins. So let's do it. So here's the box. Well, we got it. Okay, so let's take a look and see what's in here. Okay, so we have paper, cool. And then 10 of these nifty little, the usual size, the usual suspect bo bobbins. They're four inch styrene, I believe. And then this gizmo is what we're really after. They show two of these on their websites, one a dark wood and one a light wood, and they just basically say, you'll get what you get. So let's see what we got. I think we got the dark one. So that's what it looks like to me. And indeed we did. Okay, I have the husband's screw gun electric screwdriver. So it's supposed to fit right in here. <gasps> and indeed it does. Turn it on. Okay. Next, does it, do these fit on it? Let's find out. They should. <gasps> indeed they do. Whoa, very cool. All right, well, so far so good. Okay, this is gonna be my weft. Um, this is 8-2 cotton. Um, you'll see, because I'll, I'll put an overview of what we're doing, but it's their, their Christmas towels that probably will get done about the 4th of July. Many months later. Just, you know, I know you all know how that goes. So here's how, what I'm gonna do. I've got this plastic container, because you and I both know that this is going to fall over. So I'm going to get a length of this out and put this in here so it doesn't fall over. And took this off. Now, this is a little hack that I learned, I don't know, on somebody's YouTube channel. That if you, if you put, you don't have to tie, you can just tie a loop on here and keep it, but this is a little nicer. If you just stick it in about an inch inside that hole and then put it on your bobbin winder and then kind of guide it. Whoa, check it out. I'm going to put this on the floor so that you're able to see this because this is actually pretty tricky. So I'm going to hold it because I want to keep tension on it and I want it to go back and forth. Since I don't have my hand bobbin winder here with me and I want to have these done and I want to have 10 of them, I thought, well, I can get this. It was pretty inexpensive. I forget how much. I'll put the price. I'll put the price and all the links and everything in the description below. But yeah, this is pretty cool.
I'd call that a success. Now I just have to do nine more. So now what I'm gonna show you is how I end these. I'm gonna just cut it off right there. And I'll show you what it happens when you see right there, you can see the little, the little, actually that's kind of a wraparound, but you can see that's where I started it by sticking it inside. So I'm gonna pull that off. And then it leaves like this tail thing going on. But you never have to worry about it slipping. You know how you put a knot on these sometimes and they slip? Just cut that off and there's your bobbin ready to go. So let's just do the rest. Do it. Okay, that's it. 10 bobbins. By the way, it took me 21 minutes to wind those 10 bobbins. Um, I neglected to say that the 8-2 cotton is brassard from the Woolery. Um, I get a lot of stuff in the Woolery. They're pretty fast. Their prices are good. Um, I also get a lot of stuff from Yarns or Yarn.com, which is webs, um, and that stuff's good too. But this is Rosie's, uh, one more time, Rosie's Bobbin Speed Winder insert. And you know what? I'm going to give it a thumbs up. Um, I like it. I recommend it, especially for like on the road, maybe for classes. It'd be easier to take along than a bobbin winder or um, just if you're traveling. I will definitely be taking this with me in the motorhome when we travel because when we start up again, I am going to bring that little dorset with me uh, because it folds up, fits in the motorhome, which is very cool. So thanks for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye.